Welcome to Ireland. Once upon a time, there were two farms. The Muldoon farm, where Rosemary lived, and right down the road was my farm, where my son Anthony asked his lonely question of the stars. Why did you make me so? So, first question, a lot of Irish people are weighing in on your Irish accents in this movie, or at least in the trailer, for what they've seen. Um, what makes an Irish accent so hard? Uh, listen, I'm Irish. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nobody can, uh, I've spent my life um, laughing at people trying to do impressions of me. Um, and people, you know, even who know me very well, know me a very long time, listen to me for a long time. Um, and it's tough. And the, I guess that the, the thing is that, in in Ireland, it's, it's a tiny little island that, that that I'm from, and it has more dialects per square mile than any other place in the world. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's just one of those things. I've said this a couple of times that, you know, it's our sort of currency in Ireland to take the piss out of each other. So, you know, it's uh, all to be expected, and you know, we sort of saw that coming, and uh, you know, you just move on and have a laugh. Well, something John Patrick Shanley just said in the other room, which is, um, you know. Everybody wants it, everybody, if you have a representation of something, everybody wants it to be perfect, but nobody's perfect is the same perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm from Cleveland, and if there's a movie about Cleveland, I'm going to want it to be perfect Cleveland, but my Cleveland is not everybody's Cleveland that lives I think in Cleveland. That's a really, Cleveland I think that's a really wise way of putting it. I, th I think that's yeah. true, and I think ultimately, the good news is I don't know if this movie is about accents. I think it's just about, you know, um, so much more than that, and, 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 and I think this really was a celebration of Ireland and the Irish and how extraordinary they are as people. I certainly got to experience that when we were making it, and so... I agree with you. I think when people make a film about London or you've got people doing a British accent, I think I'm probably going to be much tougher on it. So I think we did just, we knew it was coming for us. So we kind of just had to like laugh it off because I think, um, and I think we just made this film with so much good intention and so much love. And you just have to stand by that, really. That's all it is. Um, there is so much meaty dialogue in this in this movie, like you can tell it was originally a play because it's just words, words, like a lot of lot of language. Um, was there a particular, Emily, maybe you can take this. Was there a particular sort of uh, bit of dialogue that you really loved to do? I mean, I think that there's like a 20, almost like a 20 minute scene in the kitchen at the end of the film. And, and it, it was like a, an incredible set piece, very poetic, very lyrical. Some of the most beautiful words I've ever been given to say and, um, there's this one line that I remember because she's just so desperately and trying to drag him into the next phase of his life, believing it's supposed to be with her and she soul gazes with him and is passionate for him. And she says to him, women are a force and hope is the salvation of the earth. I believe that I mean to make you believe it. And it was just so beautiful <laughs> and I don't know, there were just so many moments like that where you'd read the script and go, oh my God, I can't wait to say that. I can't wait to say that. I can't wait to say that. It was just I, some of the most beautiful words I've ever been given, really. 